What if a single mind could master math, physics, engineering, and invention all in the ancient world? For Archimedes, genius meant turning simple ideas into discoveries that still shape science today. Archimedes was born around 287 BCE in the city of Syracuse, a Greek settlement in Sicily. From a young age, he showed a gift for mathematics and problem solving. He studied in Alexandria, one of the greatest centers of learning in the ancient world, before returning home to apply his knowledge in ways no one had ever seen before. Archimedes made breakthroughs in geometry, calculus-like methods, and the understanding of levers and pulleys. He famously declared, Give me a place to stand, and I will move the world. With this principle, he explained how even small forces could lift great weights. He also invented practical devices, including the Archimedean screw to raise water for irrigation, compound pulleys to move heavy loads, and ingenious war machines to defend his city. He was fascinated by volume and density, and while bathing, he noticed how water rose when his body sank. This observation led to the principle of buoyancy, now called Archimedes's principle. Overjoyed with his discovery, he is said to have shouted, Eureka! I have found it! as he ran through the streets. But Archimedes's brilliance was not only theoretical. During the Roman siege of Syracuse, he designed defenses so effective they delayed one of the greatest armies of the ancient world. Catapults, cranes, and even mirrors said to set ships on fire became part of his legend. Despite his genius, Archimedes's life ended tragically. In 212 BCE, after two years of siege, Syracuse fell to the Romans. Despite orders to spare him, Archimedes was killed, ending a life devoted to discovery. Yet his ideas lived on. Archimedes' writings influenced scientists for centuries, from Galileo to Newton, and his principles remain the foundation of engineering and physics. From a curious boy in Syracuse to one of history's greatest minds, Archimedes proved that imagination, mathematics, and observation can unlock the very laws of nature.